Hello, Robin Vincent here from surfaceproaudio.com. Just a very quick note on Ableton Live 10, which became available today. And that is to do with the infamous options.txt file and absolute mouse mode. We no longer need it. It's all over. We don't have to use it anymore. When you run Live 10, you get this message comes up on the screen here, telling you that the options text file contains an unknown option, absolute mouse mode. It's going to ignore it. Now, of course, that might be terrible, but in actual fact, it's very, very good. Because within the preferences in Live 10, under look and feel, we now get this entry here called pen tablet mode. Can you see that? Pen tablet mode. Turn that on. And everything works like it's supposed to. Everything with fingers and pens works like it's supposed to. It doesn't wang about all over the place. It actually works correctly. Hurrah. And that means you can get your fingers into cool stuff like this, like this, look at this. So there you have it, Ableton Live 10 no longer requires absolute mouse mode. It's now an option within the preferences. Just turn it on and your fingers and your pen will work perfectly. One finger at a time, there's still no multi-touch, but it's an awesome thing that we no longer have to fart around in options.txt in order just to get touch and pen to work correctly. So nice one Ableton, thank you. And I have to say, first impressions of Live 10, Flipping awesome, looks great, love it. There's just enough of an enhancement to the general look and feel that makes it feel really fresh and new and exciting. I'm looking forward to playing with it a great deal more. So that'll do, and in the meantime, go and make some tunes.